state legislators, but the people who are our constituents, our voters, uh, understand the American dream. They understand that we're all about upward economic mobility. And the fact that we're the kind of country where someone can be born in poverty and die wealthy, only because we as a country have adhered to certain principles that enable that to happen, principles of constitutionally limited government. The more we focus on that message, the more we focus on the fact that we as a party uh, are not just the party of no. Sometimes we have to be that party. When we have a president who thinks that the only thing you need to do to legislate is to act with a phone and a pen, I still don't understand exactly what that means, but it means something bad. It means that he can act by himself. Sometimes we have to be the party of no, but we always have to accompany that with our own affirmative ideas, ideas consistent with bold conservatism, ideas that ultimately, when properly understood and implemented, promote upward economic mobility. We are the party of the poor and the middle class. We are the anti-poverty party. And we are that way, we are compassionate because of our conservatism and not in spite of it. It's a pleasure to have my friend Ted Cruz here with us today, and let's give him a nice futile welcome. Thank, thank you, Mike. Thank you, Governor. Or, or I should say, thank you, President Lee. <laughs> Soon to be. Um, I, I am thrilled to be back in Utah. This is actually the, the third time I've been in Utah in the last six months. I was back, had a chance to sit down and visit with the Governor not too long ago. Then actually over Christmas, my wife and girls, we came to Deer Valley and did some skiing, and it was just breathtaking. Uh, in fact, I will say Deer Valley is where our six-year-old uh, learned to ski. And, and, and by day, day two, she was making it down Candyland, uh, skiing almost faster than Dad does, which is uh, a little terrifying they learned that quickly. Um, I'm thrilled to be here. Th thank you for the warm hospitality. I think Texas and Utah share a great deal, but both states are Western states with a frontier mentality, as, as the governor put it so eloquently. I, we understand freedom works. We understand that what drives an economy, what drives opportunity, is an environment where small businesses can prosper, where jobs can be created, where people can pursue the passions of their heart. And that's a story we need to tell across the country. We need to tell the Utah story, the Texas story, what really is the American story of the power of freedom. So I am humbled to be with you. Um, I've heard the dinner speaker tonight is really weak, so I would uh, <laughs> encourage you all to head out early, head to Chick-fil-A, but uh, it's great to be with you.